Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bonnie if you're new and I would love it if you subscribe. So today I want to talk about how I'm doing and how the girls are doing with kindergarten. So the girls just started kindergarten and I separated them. I now understand what people were saying with it'll be easier on you if you put them in the same class because seriously it's hard to keep up with. Probably the same amount of work when you have two kids later on but like all at once like I have to check Hannah's book. I have to check Haley's book. And there's like millions stuff to read, millions stuff to read. I have to read Haley's book. Haley Hannah has to do some numbers. Like, this is kindergarten. <laughs> Why am I getting so much stuff? They go to the library and they get a book each week. And Hannah's library day is Thursday, so I have to remember on Thursdays. And Haley's is Friday, and I have to remember on Fridays. And then there's ice cream sales on Thursdays, and hot lunches sometimes are on Thursdays that I have to. Well, I prepay for that, but the ice cream I'm supposed to give money to on the day of. And I'm like, there's just so much to keep up with. <laughs> How they are adjusting, though, Hannah, at first, I think that she thought she was just going to daycare because <laughs> she is in a different part of the school. <laughs> yeah, I, I just feel like she, well, she said something about going to, like, daycare rather than kindergarten. Like, she's not going to kindergarten yet is what it kind of seemed like. But I think she's caught on now that she's going to kindergarten. Yeah, Haley is obviously adjusted really well. She like is super happy about it, except they go on this huge morning walk in the morning for like over an hour and the girls, well, Hannah hasn't complained about it, but Haley definitely does not enjoy it, but I feel like it's mostly because it's cold. We were worried about Hannah, I don't know, making friends kind of. They both made friends. Hannah has like a one really good friend. I don't know if she has like multiple friends or not, but I know she has one really good friend. And the funny thing is, is she's a twin and her name is Haley. Haley's like Hannah's friend Haley's twin is in Haley's class, but I don't think Haley, my Haley, is friends with her twin. I think just Hannah and Haley are friends, but they're like really good friends. It's really cute. Like Hannah will be walking up and she's like, Hannah! And like, yeah, it's just, it's really cute. And Haley has friends. It doesn't seem like that. I feel like maybe those two grabbed onto each other so much because they probably use their twins like more. Like the other ones are more independent and then these two are the ones that rely more, if that makes sense. So then they kind of just like bonded together. Ha yeah, Haley definitely has um, a couple of friends, but she's really good friends with somebody whose mom works with our, well, my brother, their uncle. And then also the grandma of the girl works with me. So it's really funny that Haley is like really good friends with her because it wasn't like a, you need to be friends with her. It just kind of like happened all on its own. <laughs> I can say I'm really glad that I know Hannah's aid because if I didn't know Hannah's aid, my whole attitude towards the school experience might have been completely different. Hannah has like a full-time aid. I'm pretty sure she's with her like almost fully. There's this company, like there's this people outside of the school district called like, I don't know, nursing support services, I guess. Um, and we recently got a new worker because this worker goes to already. So we switched. So we, now we have this new worker who's training people and like we were clashing because like she's new and she doesn't do it the same way that Diane used to. And it was just like, just too much to handle. So it was like, really, that was hard to deal with in the first couple weeks. But thankfully I knew the aides. This person saying you're doing it wrong. And it's like, but I'm not doing it wrong. She's just doing it a different way. But then it was like meeting in the middle rather than having the stranger being the aide and then being like, well, you're doing it wrong. Like, I don't know. It was just a lot more easygoing because of that. And then like even like certain things in the school, EPIs, EIPs, I don't know. There's some kind of like meeting that happens for kids with special needs where they talk about if they're going to do physio with them at school and like all the little things. We haven't done this meeting yet. But the lady that organizes it only works Thursdays and Fridays, which I work Thursdays and Fridays. I'm like, I'm not going to book off time for this. Like, you can come on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, or you can meet with me after 5.30. I don't know. Like, yes, it's my child's education, but I also feel like, you know, I only work three days a week, and two of those are weekdays. Like, how can you not work around my schedule? And, like, if I booked off time for this, I'm, I'm constantly booking off, th like, doctor's appointments, that all happens on my days off unless if it's like a surgery or like their office is not open during those days. So like, I don't know. That in that way, cause I like was kind of like annoyed and like wanted to fight with it, her about it. Like not fight, but like get like, be like, no, you can come in on a different day, which I would have backed down and just like sucked up. But thankfully my aide was like, you know, you can say that. Like she's on salary, it is her job. So yeah, it's been super nice for me because there is like so much going on with Hannah. Like I feel like every day I talk to the aide, but like 
it doesn't stress me out because I know her and it would really stress me out if I didn't. So at least like, even if she's not her aide next year, I'm gonna be used to the routine of this. So in that sense, it was like a really good transition. And I'm really happy with both the girls' teachers. I definitely talk to Haley's teacher more than I talk to Hannah's teacher, but mostly because I get all the information from Hannah's aide, but they're both really nice ladies. It's weird because they both have different ways of doing it setting home stuff, I don't know, paperwork, I don't know. It's just, it's weird because it's like the same kind of like, you'd think that the school, I don't know, I expected it to be like, Haley brings home this yellow binder every day and you'd think like Hannah would bring home a yellow binder every day, but they don't. Just Haley's class does. And then Hannah's class has a like this weird like, I don't know, a different way of doing it. So, so that's kind of like weird to see different like teaching methods for the same age group. Anyways, I think that's about it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.